Hi, everyone. My name is Marcella. My name is Serena. My name is Melissa. And my name is Alejandro. And for our innovation idea, we're proposing a technological uh, approach to improve cardiovascular health with an app called HeartCheck. So before we go into the app, let me just give you a statistic that I found to be scary. I came from the American Heart Association, which says approximately every 39 seconds, an American will have a heart attack. So why did we decide to go with cardiovascular health? Pretty simple. We wanted to make a change in other outdated apps that promise to help the individual but fall short. While searching for the other apps, we noticed that there was not enough information or preventative measures associated with cardiovascular diseases, and therefore we decided to come up with the app HeartCheck. So what our app does is it will be a child-friendly focus on detecting, on detecting early risk factors, health tracking, self-monitoring for heart rate and rhythm, resources to obtain blood pressure, cholesterol monitoring at home, education on understanding cardiovascular disease, and necessary health information to make proper health decisions. So what is it that our app will have that separates us from the rest of the from the rest are the last two things that I mentioned. They are educating the public as well as giving them videos such as uh, healthy eating habits. The app will include numerous educational videos aimed at defining and addressing how an illness such as cardiovascular disease can impact an individual's health as well as the app will introduce healthy eating habits for the kids to utilize and easy cooking videos so they can explore healthy eating habits and reduce their risk of cardiovascular disease. So adding on to these statistics Alejandro gave us, heart disease is the number one leading cause of death in our country. 18.2 million adults or 6.7% aged 20 and older have coronary artery disease, which is a common type of heart disease. And almost half, at least 48% have of US adults have some form of cardiovascular disease or CVD. In addition to this, a one person dies every 34 seconds from cardiovascular disease, which is why it is so important that we focus our attention um, on this prevalent and ongoing issue that contributes to these detrimental short and long-term health effects. Although there are current interventions for cardiovascular disease, there should be more intervention aimed at high-risk um, groups based on research and understanding who is at risk, as well as understanding heart disease, can help us tailor our app effectively to these high-risk individuals. So what is cardiovascular disease and who is at risk? So cardiovascular disease is a disease of the heart or blood vessels, and some common types are heart attack, stroke, heart arrhythmias, heart failure, coronary artery disease, or CAD, and peripheral artery disease, or PAD. So for risk factors, there is high blood pressure as a risk factor, high cholesterol, um, smoking, for nutrition, like a high fat diet and obesity can increase your risk and also chronic stress and a sedentary lifestyle. Along with this, things like family history, increased age, and also having other medical conditions like diabetes can increase your risk for cardiovascular disease. So considering all of these risk factors, we can focus on monitoring and prevention interventions to decrease our risk of CVD and complications. It is essential to be educated on um, things like being screened or tested regularly, such as primary care checkups from an early age, 
um, and being tested, especially if you are at high risk, like if you have obesity, or, um, such as obesity and or if you have family history of CVD um, so that we can detect it early and prevent it or any complications. As for non-modifiable factors, we can still provide increased education and services to people um, like young adults and children, uh, such as through our easy accessible app so that we can make lifestyle changes like diet and exercise. So it is very important that we implement this innovative solution to provide improved support and care. And with the prevalence of technology and the majority of the population having access to mobile devices such as iPads, iPhones, smart TVs, et cetera, um, an innovative application is very convenient to be able to connect with quality care, especially since many of the applications that are out there in the media and that are catered towards children do not provide very many educational values whatsoever. And an implemented school health programs about cardiovascular disease and potential health that begin as early as preschool and continue through high school have a likelihood of influencing a large portion of children in the U.S. And this comes from an article from Henderson back in uh, 20, or that was published in 2022. Um, additionally, children are the key to cardiovascular disease and prevention because they are able to educate their peers, their siblings, and their parents about the importance of healthy living. And this comes from King and Fuster in 2010. Additionally, children will be able to absorb all of their learned information and be able to store it for years ahead and will be able to always know the information and help future generations. So with regards to staffing for our innovation idea, we will have volunteers that share many of the same ideals we do. And these ideals include having a passion with working with children and educating children about cardiovascular disease, as well as the creative design of the app to benefit future generations. And by having volunteers, this will also allow us, allow our funding to stretch over the years. So we will partner with a hospital and local community organization that will work alongside us in making informative and healthy food conscious videos, physical activity videos, and an overview of the risks of cardiovascular diseases and what will happen if, these, if this is not prevented or treated at an early age. Our goal is to spend no more than half of the $1 million budget that we have and the finances will be distributed according to partnering with hospitals and local community organizations, as well as creating the application and the cardiovascular disease education for children that will go on the application. So the app we have created will be of great value to society because it will assist many kids with cardiovascular disease by introducing various resources and methods towards achieving a healthier lifestyle. In the picture on the left, nutrition involves fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, and eliminating soda drinks. Some active things that kids can do involve participating in sports, outdoor activities, or everyday gymnastics and exercise. Lifestyle changes such as relaxation, having a daily routine, and taking more vitamins play a vital role in kids' health. So it was important that our app included a variety of videos and educational guides that focus on nutrition, activities, and a healthier lifestyle for kids with cardiovascular disease. There are also follow along yoga videos for kids like the right image shows that will be easy to follow and fun for any age range. Prevention is important. So our app is also beneficial for children at risk of cardiovascular disease based on our prevention techniques and educational videos included within our app. So for example, some prevention techniques that we would focus on are reducing sodium intake, getting enough sleep, eating a healthy and balanced diet, exercising regularly, and having regular checkups. Daniels and his colleagues indicated through their studies that healthy dietary patterns develop in childhood 
and are essential for prevention of cardiovascular disease. A similar study by Heyman and her colleagues supports statements about prevention of cardiovascular disease in early childhood through evidence from laboratory, clinical, and epidemiological studies. Cardiovascular health issues are an ongoing problem, and as mentioned previously, it is a leading cause of death in the United States. If our Heart Check app is granted $1 million for a three-year period, our app proposal and design will positively impact kids with cardiovascular disease or kids at risk of cardiovascular disease. Our hope is to introduce healthy habits and support those impacted by this deadly disease. Our app will positively impact many kids by promoting healthy lifestyle techniques and spreading awareness on prevention methods for cardiovascular disease. Our kid-friendly health app will impact everybody, including future generations to come. We are positive of its success if the funds are provided to make our health innovation a reality for the public. We thank you for listening today. And these are our references.